In 2014, she was charged for running one of the largest prostitution operations in Alaska. Now, Amber Batts is a free woman. She sat down with us last week, the day she was released on parole, to discuss her newfound freedom and the cause she went to jail for. KTV 11 Daniela Rivera reports. Coffee, first thing. So now my mornings are like this. Coco, for her daughter. To wake up the last minute, because she's a <laughs> typical teenager. Even today. It's a special morning, you know? A big day for Amber Bats means celebrating the little things. So we have big plans today. Yeah? We're going to go to the movies, and then we're going to go out to eat. But those plans... I'm not allowed to leave till 6.50. We'll have to wait. There's a system down to this. Till after school. All right, I love you. Me too. We'll see it feels really good. You know, I didn't really think this day was going to come for a long time. There was days that I was walking the yard at Highland just praying that I'd be able to get out in time for to be able to see my daughter graduate from high school. In 2015, Bats was sentenced to serve five and a half years. I was running a prostitution business. They, they called it a prostitution ring, which like some huge criminal enterprise. She ran a website, vetted clients, set up appointments for sex workers, and collected online payments. I was one of those workers. I was one of those women. Her arrest earned her the title Alaska's Madam. I think it's erroneous. I never saw myself as a madam. I never saw myself as a pimp. I saw myself as a woman that was a sex worker and also a business owner. She says no one was forced to do anything, and working together is what kept them safe. Women were counting on me to not set them up with an unsafe person. And I took my job seriously. My but in the eyes of Alaska state law, she Be was sex personal. trafficking, a charge she wouldn't understand today if she hadn't been caught. When I would have read about someone getting arrested for sex trafficking, I would have thought they deserved it. Oh, they're doing something wrong. I wouldn't have even known that there's components to the Alaska state law that isn't force or coercion. Before change to Alaska law in 2012, she would have been charged with promoting prostitution, now relabeled as sex trafficking. I, am I that lost morally that I'm just not even really considered a human being and that I need to be locked away from society because I was a sex worker? Well, she says her charge didn't fit her crime. That's right, I am unplugged. I'm off the grid. She's done her time, ending her sentence on ankle monitoring. Today, this comes off. I'm a part of society. You're a free woman. I'm a free woman. One who will continue to push for sex like workers' rights. Veterans, With the state charging me, maybe. they've created an advocate. I'm just a stronger person. On time. She was having a problem taking it off. I'm, too, I'm like, what happens if you can't? That's now her own. I haven't had this freedom since 2014, and um, I don't take it for granted. Daniela Rivera. I just can't stop smiling. KTVA 11 News. And Bats is on parole until 2020. She says she has no plans to go back to her illegal business, but will continue to advocate for the decriminalization of sex work and push for a change in Alaska law make the state's definition of sex trafficking match the federal definition.